breaks down what we should expect in the coming week a little bit later on. Allow me to introduce my guest joining me in studio. It's great to have the gentleman. Unfortunately, we couldn't secure a lady panelist, it being uh, the week right after International Women's Day. So I'll start with that apology for my manel right here in <laughs> studio. I'm joined by Mark Bichachi, a communications expert and definitely has a keen eye on the political affairs in the country. Karibu sana, it's great to have you. Nice to see you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Is it still uh, right to say Happy New Year? Uh, Naribu, Naribu. <laughs> they shouldn't know we haven't met yet, but it's great to have you with nice us. Karibu you, sana. Yeah. We're equally joined by Fanya Mambo Kinuthia, a lawyer. It's great to have you with us. I'm sure to Fanya Mambo. Thank you. It's an honor to be here. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, karibu sana. Equally joined by Odoyo Owidi. Goes with many titles, but I'll stick with political analyst. Odoyo, Thank Karibu you. sana. Good morning. Good morning, my brother. Looking sharp with your it's, cape. It's good being here. Uh, <laughs> That's my new brand. Right. <laughs> so, gentlemen, Asanteni Sana for your time. I'd like us to begin with one issue that Toh highlighted, all to do with President Ruto and Raila receiving the latest on the NADCO report as it was officially presented to the two leaders, one at Capitol Hill office and the other at State House in Nairobi. And that presentation is coming a day after a joint House committee agreed on the timelines to submit that NADCO report to both houses. That's within the next 45 days for the House to adopt and debate the crucial bills. I think there are eight amendments and one new bill under the NADCO report. Raila, according to what he mentioned, he says he wants the NADCO report implemented without any alterations, while President William Ruto assured of his maximum support to implement the report. Remember, Kenya Kwanzaa has their way in terms of majority within the House, so the President's approval and support is quite welcome. Let's just listen in to what the leaders had to say as they were receiving that report. The issues contained in this document are not as me of all Kenya Kwanzaa issues. These are Kenyan issues. They are our aspirations as the people of Kenya. Those issues should unite, not divide us. I am happy that the outstanding issue of two-thirds gender. Finally, both sides have agreed on a way forward. I hope in honor of all our girls, our daughters, our wives, our mothers, and all the women of Kenya, we will be able to do this uh, for us as a country. I had underestimated the residents of the Kenyan people to look for peace and tranquility. And I have since been very impressed by what has happened. And I think this is the way to go. Kenya is bigger than all of us. And going forward, after the two houses have done justice to the report, we believe that uh, we'll have peace forever. And uh, eventually, we did agree on almost 90% of the issues that you did task us to uh, address in the National Dialogue Committee. And the few issues that we could not agree on, Your Excellency, as you will read in the report, there are issues that we referred to yourself and his, to His Excellency the President. Even if you have to do uh, public participation of the bills, the consequent bills upon the report, which has happily been adopted, we want to suggest that we do not take all the time. So fast tracking it and then, and then getting the final product. We all know, for example, we do not have an IBC. Okay, we all know we